everyone. I'm Chef Priyanka Nike. I'm a self-taught vegan chef, a Food Network champion, TV host, and author of my first cookbook, The Modern Tiffin. So I'm here answering some of your questions on veganism and sustainability. I'm born and raised in New York City. I'm first generation Indian American, and um, we pretty much grew up vegetarian uh, for majority of my life um, when I was very young. and. We only transitioned to eating like chicken and seafood in my adolescent years. So when I was about like, you know, around 10 to then high school years, about like teenage years because of accessibility to vegetarian food, like in the 90s and 2000s, it really wasn't as accessible as it is now, especially if you're traveling, if you're in school, if you're socializing. So I used to eat chicken and seafood and it wasn't until about 15 years ago now that I transitioned back to being vegetarian and I did it for ethical and environment. I think that any impact that we can make that is more thoughtful about what we're consuming and putting on our plates and ultimately into our bodies is, is always going to impact negatively or positively to the planet. I think one thing to keep in mind is that even if let's say someone like me decides to make a dish that's low waste or zero waste where I use all of the produce um, or I cook with the banana peels instead of putting it in the trash, that doesn't actually necessarily mean that I have a quote unquote positive impact on the environment. It just means that it's actually neutral because right now our planet is in a recovery phase, but it's so far gone that anything that we're doing to positively impact climate change is actually a neutral impact, if that makes sense. So I think sustainable gastronomy is incredibly important because if restaurants and chefs and individual home cooks strive to be more sustainable, whether it be shopping from their local farmer's market, shopping seasonal, composting, low waste and zero waste cooking, vegan cooking, um, meat free cooking, whatever it may be, all of those individual contributions will ultimately add up to having a neutral or hopefully positive impact on our planet's recovery because it's all about how we can minimize our carbon footprint and ultimately at the end of the day majority of people aren't doing enough to minimize their carbon footprint so i think making sure that we're striving to be sustainable in our restaurants and in our home kitchens is going to be the best way to help minimize that the two largest factors to global warming are the fashion industry and the food industry. So if we're able to, from a food industry standpoint, reduce that impact, that negative impact that we have, that'll make a world of difference to the recovery for our planet. I think it's almost equally as important to think about how you're cooking, um, in addition to what you're cooking, right? So when I say that, I mean, if you let's say get carrots from the grocery store and the carrots come with all the tops on it, right? Which are the, like green and bushy. Most of the time people are just cutting that off and throwing it out. But that whole thing is edible. Like every part of that carrot is edible. And in fact, many a times those green bushy tops or even the peels can have almost as much or more nutritional value than the regular carrot part that we eat. So I like to show ways that we can cook all of the produce, which I think is the easiest way to cook sustainably and be low waste. And so taking the carrot tops and like making a pesto out of it or making a chutney out of it or making like a relish out of it, like you can easily cook or I made a sauce out of it. Like you can make you could literally transfer it into anything and anything that we can basically keep out of the landfill is better for the environment. We've spent far too many years on this planet just as humans, um, really being selfish and thinking about ourselves. And a lot of it was for necessity, right? And for evolutionary purposes. But now that we've gotten to this stage, it's 2022, we have so much access to knowledge we have we have the ability to do so much better i think if we have the platform 
the ability and the privilege to do so, we we should. I don't think, I, I just, for me, my motto, like in life and kind of my perspective on the world is treat every being as you want to be treated. Um, and that's with respect and compassion. And I'm not saying like, oh, everyone should go vegan and, and you know, I know it's just not feasible for everyone, but that doesn't mean you can't be more thoughtful about what you do and what you eat. Um, and I think that more people are thinking about that more often because they're seeing the devastation that's happening to our planet. And it, you, we can no longer hide from it, right? So if big corporations and the government aren't going to do anything, which we all know they're really not, and they're taking too long to do something, our individual actions will make a difference. Because if let's say you cut out meat, you know, three days a week, and I cut out meat three days a week, and 10 other people start doing that, think about the carbon footprint that we're minimizing by just doing that.